We just got done putting a carburetor into a pretty cool little bike. What do you think, Shaw? We'll let Marcus ride the bike. Where's he going? He's off road, and that's what it's for. It's built for off road. So we just got done putting this carb in this thing, and I told Marcus to go field test it for me, and he's taking that shit seriously. So he is testing it, riding off road along the canal. As long as he doesn't go in the canal, I'm fine. But uh, it's a cool bike. So, Josh, you know who you are. If you see this video, that's your bike, and it's running good. So now, uh, when as soon as Marcus gets back, hopefully in one piece. We'll deliver it. But another fun start to the day. Look at him go. These things are actually pretty cool. Let's see if he makes it all the way around. Oh, he's he's picking up a little bit of speed. Oh yeah, he's ripping it. He's under the tree. Let's see. I want to see how he how he makes out here. These things were made back in like the 80s, so the fact that this thing's actually in good shape and running, getting parts for these things is almost impossible. But this is real classic Yamaha stuff right here. Look at him go. Oh man, he hit the berm. Oh, he's about to run over some, look at that. Oh yeah, no problem. What do you think, dude? Like it? I want it. You're into it. All right, park it. Park his marks. All right, let's take a little cruise on the jog. I'm running out. Some of the last of the uh, break-in oil gas mix and then I'm gonna run my synthetic so I'm gonna go ahead and take this with me because I am almost empty and I don't really feel like pushing this thing back so we'll stop this for a second put this in here I got the new carburetor completely dialed in now so it's pretty nice so far wheelies like nobody's business. It's crazy. I was running it yesterday and uh, and it, it 12 o'clock on me. Got all the way up and there's Roberto. What you got Roberto? You got, what are you doing? I'm, oh, you I'm, new, I'm, I'm moto vlogging. Oh you found a new way to talk to yourself? Yeah. Right. Well I talk to cameras. Right, but until you upload, you're talking to yourself. Well, no, I'm talking to the camera, and then when I upload, I'm talking to a computer. Right, but as of right now, you're technically talking to yourself. I'm talking to you right now. Okay, I guess. What are you, what are you on a trip? I'm just going to go around. <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to run out the last of the break-in oil gas mix. So I'm going to run out of gas. <laughs> I need to be ready. Right, man. Long and prosper? Yeah, no wheelies. Hopefully.
what it does. I mean, this needle's been on E for miles. Still cranking. Not out of gas yet, but I figured I'd uh, take a little cruise and show you guys what the little jog is all about. I've been driving it everywhere. It just doesn't stop. I hammered it for about 10 miles straight, just wide open pin, and it just sat at like 55 miles an hour. 50. 50, anywhere between 53 and 57 miles per hour depending on if I was tucked or not and it didn't miss a beat it's running perfect um, I put a new variator belt on it's a little bit longer it's a 792 I think or 790 something and uh, other than that everything is right where it needs to be I have a tire on the way I'm gonna be putting a uh, a 10 by 3.5 on it that's gonna give me just a tiny bit more gearing nothing too crazy but I just figured it was the right thing to do rather than get into the gears because it has has good power for where it is right now I'm afraid if I put the gears in it it's gonna become super sluggish and I don't want that I like how punchy it feels I like how light it is and I like the the, the speed that it's at right now I don't really need to go much faster um, 60 miles an hour is all I need, tops. Don't need any faster than that. All the roads around here are 50 mile an hour or slower. So uh, anywhere north of 50 miles per hour, I'm, I'm safe. I won't have to worry about dodging traffic. And that's already where it's at right now. So if you guys like this build, let me know. It's a pretty simple setup, very inexpensive. Under, once you have the jog, this is under $500 worth of parts. Um, or right around $500, I should say. So, all in, this is a super cool package. If you contact scootertuning.ca, they'll set you up with exactly the same setup I have. Just tell them you saw it on my channel, and they might even give you a little discount. So, just mention us, mention the channel, and mention Mr. Reliable if you want to have your jog run just like this. So, hope you enjoy it, and much more, many more miles coming soon. I'm gonna keep riding. If you guys like the moto vlog stuff, if you like me riding around, I'm gonna try and get a mic in here so that I can talk while I'm riding. I know it's hard to hear me, but if you enjoy it, let me know and I'll keep making these videos.